it's moving. At the top of the stretch. come. They're off on the inside. Star Collector for the lead. That's Southwest Park up on the outside. There to challenge as they go to the turn. Racing in along the rail. Rachel down now is third. Mary be lucky moving for I wish I wish. Races five to the back stretch. Nell on wheels six up on the inside. Billy and Bud seven the trailer racing on the outside. Smooth the Sammy G. They're on down the back stretch now for the first time and the opening quarter. Star Collector sets the pace in front by two lengths by the quarter. In 30 and 4 fifth seconds, Southwest Park on the inside too. I wish, I wish, takes two away up on the outside. Southwest Park now third on the rail, up on the outside. Racing in for smooth, a Sammy G. Rachel down five. They make the turn down the stretch now on their way to the half. Star Collector is still in command. I wish, I wish is on the outside. Second by a length and a half, Southwest Park racing sing third. 101 and 4 time to the half. They go to the turn. On the inside, Rachel down four. On the outside, smooth. The Sammy G racing five. Mary be lucky six. Nell on wheels and the trailer. Billy and Bud down the back stretch now. Next stop, three quarter mile station and star collectors open it up to two and a half. Make that to three lengths. Th Southwest Park driving second on the inside. Up on the far outside, Rachel down is moving. Moved on to be third three quarters. In 133 and 2, into the top turn for the final time. Star Collectors opened up five lengths. Southwest Park driving to Rachel down on the outside three. Mary be lucky moving four. Off the turn, down the stretch now for home. Star Collector, Rachel Downs closing on the outside. Star Collector, Southwest Park. Rachel down, they're not going to catch Star Collector. Then it's Rachel down, Southwest Park. In 204 and 4. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race one, the one-horse Star Collector, a four-year-old bay pacing stallion by Collector Road from Quality Star. Owned by Percy Grant of Newburgh, trained or driven this afternoon by Ed Harvey. One Star Collector takes a maiden mark of 204 and four-fifths. One Star Collector, the unofficial race winner, a reminder again, there is an inquiry into race number one, possible interference in the first turn at the start of the race. The gate, the gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off up on the far outside. Dusty Lane Buster goes for the lead. Three wide into the turn. Burton Bird is on the rail. Dusty Lane Buster on the outside in between horses. West Jam Princess as they swing round the turn by the opening eighth. Burton Bird has settled in on the inside. West Jam Princess driving to Dusty Lane Buster's move to the inside in three. Oh, my beautiful doll, four. Then it's ROF Race and High Cowboys Don't Lie and the trailer future secret they step by the opening quarter in 30 and 4 into the top turn there's action on the outside from a six on the move that's ROF race and high as they move round the top turn it's still Burton Burt in command driving on top up on the outside 
Moving on to be second, Dusteline Buster on the inside. West Jam Princess is third on the outside. ROF Racing High moving four on the rail. Oh, my beautiful doll up on the outside. Future Secret and the trailer. Cowboys don't lie, they were by the half. In the 101 and 4, into the turn now for the final time. Bert and Bert holds that lead. It's a length and a quarter as they go to the backstretch. Bert and Bert, Dusty Lane Buster, two on the outside, on the inside. No place to go. West Jam Princess up on the outside. ROF Race and High then. Oh, my beautiful doll cowboys don't lie in future secret. Three-quarter mile station race. In 132 and 3, into the top turn now for the final time. It's Burton Bird, Dusty Lane Buster by a quarter of a length on the outside is second. West Jam Princess tipping out three wide, less than an eighth of a mile to go. Down the stretch they come. Burton Bird, Dusty Lane Buster on the outside. Oh, my beautiful dolls up on the inside at the wire. Burton Bird, it's going to be Burton Bird, Dusty Lane Buster, West Jam Princess. In two all three and one. Ready now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race two, the two-horse Burton Burt. A six-year-old Bay Pace and Gelling by Liz Ryan from Battletown Bow. Owned by Doug Hildebrand of Fredericton and Ron Hildebrand of Burton. Trained and driven to victory by Chris Davies. Two Burton Burt in two oh three and one, the unofficial race winner. And for Burton Burt, tenth winning trip of the season. Six behind the gate, Cam Comaranda. Big Shot L, both have been scratched. The gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off out of there quickly. Rumpus Star for the lead. Humna, humna, humma. Three wide racing second in between horses. I'm the big dog is on the move as they go to the turn. Racing on the inside. Rumpus Star, I'm the big dog on the outside. Moves on to take command as they head on down the back stretch. On the inside. Racing a second. Rumpus Star, Western Queen moving third. Humna, humna, humna. Racing fourth and is on the move then. Lucky Alberta and the trailer are ours wanderer. 30 and 1 to the opening quarter. They head into the top turn. Out in front, I'm the big dog. Humna, humna, humna on the outside, driving second. Rumpus Star is third. Lucky Alberta's tipped to the outside from four. Then Western Queen and the trailer still are ours. Wanderer down the stretch now for the half. Humna, humna, humna on the outside. Takes that lead away there by the half mile station and on the inside. I'm the big dog, second. Minute and two fifths time for the half into the turn now, and it's humna, 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 still out in front. I'm the big dog second, three wide for third, Lucky Alberta, Western Queen, and Rumpus Star, and the trailer now starting to move as they go to the back stretch. Our, ours Wanderer out in front, humna, humna, humna has opened up five lengths and by that three quarter mile station. One thirty two and one race sing second on the big dog up on the outside. Moving on to be third, our ours wander now is second. Round the turn, humna, humna, humna's out in front by six lengths at the seven eighths and driving on home. That's humna, humna, humna driving in second. Our ours wander, Western Queen on the outside for third. I'm the big dogs on the inside at the wire. Humna, humna, humna. 
Over RR's Wandering Western Queen. Inquiry sign up. Mile 2 3. Inquiry sign is up, possible interference two on the eight past the half. Inquiry sign is up, hold your tickets. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, is the unofficial winner of race number three. It's the five horse, Humna, Humna, Humna. Six year old bay pacing mare by Apache's frame from Matt Jellin. Owned by Richard Allaby of St. John, trained by Bernie Charlton, driven this afternoon by Sam Hodgen. Five, Humna, 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 203, the unofficial winner. Inquiry sign remains up. The gate. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off Satan's little number. Takes the early lead on the inside. Golden Days and the race singing. Second up on the outside. Third and on the move. That stagecoach gambler. They go to the turn. Dusty Lane Rosa four on the rail in five. As they go to the back stretch. That's a red boots followed by Franco Crupier and, and the trailer. Expensive Marlene. On down the back stretch. Satan's little number out in front. By a length and a half. Golden Days and drive to racing in three stagecoach gambler by the opening quarter in 30 and two into the turn now dusty lane rosa moving four red boots racing five franco kruprian moving six and the trailer still expensive marlene they swing round the top turn they're on the way to the half mile station and satan's little number is still the leader by a length and a half driving into golden days and action on the outside on the move red boots as they move on by the half challenging for third Third still, Stagecoach Gambler. Half in the 102 on the outside. Now three of them on the move. Franco Crupier in as they go to the turn. Racing now by the five eights and still out in front. Satan's little number driving to Etz uh, Golden Days in up on the outside. Racing on to be third. Etz uh, Red Boots on the outside. Franco Crupier in is a fourth in along the rail. Stagecoach Gambler now fifth as they go by the three quarters. In one thirty four and two, Satan's little number holds onto that lead. It's a length and a half. Golden Days End still setting in second as they move round the turn. Golden Days End is swung to the outside. Down the stretch now for home. Satan's little number. Golden Days End closing on the outside. Racing to the wire. Satan's little number. Golden Days End on the outside. At the wire, it's going to be. Close, looks like Satan's little number, Golden Days, and might be Dusty Lane Rosa for third. In 206 and 2. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race four, the two-horse Satan's Little Number. Four-year-old bay pacing mare by Western Ideal from Satan's Mistress. Owned by Rick Armstrong of Rossay, Hardy Lawrence of Kennecook, Nova Scotia. Trained or driven by Rick Armstrong to victory. 206 and 2. For the two-horse Satan's Little Number, sixth win on the season. Villagers Lady, Fundiana, Falcons Quick, George Down, Smooth Putnam, Diamond Hard, the gate is moving.
at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off Salzburg Dandy for the early lead up on the far right side. George Down is on the move in between horses racing in third as they go to the turn. Falcons quick as they go by the opening eighth. Salzburg Dandy sets the pace, leads by two lengths on the outside now driving in second. That's Falcons quick in along the rail. Racing third, Dr. Cash and down the back stretch now moving up on the outside. Fundiana George Down on the rail up on the outside Dillinger's lady by the opening quarter 30 and 1 they go to the turn the trailers smooth Putnam and Diamond Hart as they move around the top turn Salzbrook Dandy is the leader driving in second that's Fundy Anna Falcons quick on the rail third Dr. Cash and four Dillinger's ladies move to the outside five still on the move down the stretch now they go for the half Salzbrook Dandy holds that lead it's a uh, half length up on the outside Fundy Anna still second 101 and one time to the half in along the rail. Falcons quick moving third. Dr. Cash and four. Then Dillinger's lady on the outside five. Followed by George down as they go to the back stretch. It's smooth Putnam and the trailer is Diamond Hart. Down for the three quarters they go and by three parts of a length it's still Salzbrook Dandy driving second now is Falcons quick as they step by the three quarter mile station there. Neck and neck in 133 and 3. Round the turn, Salzbrook Dandy on the inside, up on the outside by a neck racing a second. Falcons quick, Dr. Cash and on the inside third, up on the outside. Dillinger's lady down the stretch now, the drive for home is on. Salzbrook Dandy on the outside. Falcons quick, Dr. Cash and looks for room on the inside at the wire. Going to be Salzbrook Dandy, Dr. Cash and Falcons quick. In 204 and 1. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race 5 won Salzbrook Dandy, a six-year-old brown pace and gelding by Justice Denied from a Little Heaven. Owned by Cassandra Fram and Bert Waddell of St. John. Trained by Earl Fram, driven by Jill Berrio. Won Salzbrook Dandy in 204 and one. Seventh winning trip of the season for Salzbrook Dandy for Mr. Berrio. 98th of the season at this track and 158 on the season overall. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're all quickly on the far outside. All-American Candy goes for the lead as they go to the turn. Promises, Promises is on the inside. Racing a second up on the outside. Moving third as they swing around the turn. That's a freestone Lexi. Down the back stretch for the opening quarter. In along the rail, Artie Cack driving four. Racing in five. Daya Harlika Hacks boys six to the outside. Pictoni and Best West is seventh and the trailer. R.E.'s Andrew, they step by the opening quarter. In 29 and 3, into the top turn, promises, promises. Out in front now is opened up a length and a half. All American Candy driving to Pictoni and Best West 3. Moves up on the outside as they swing round the turn. Down the stretch now, on the way to the half mile station. Pictoni and Best West is challenging on the outside. Promises, promises holds the lead on the inside. They're on by the half. All American Candy 3rd. One minute, 
Two fast time to the half on the rail now. Racing in four as they swing around the turn. Freestone Lexi to the back stretch now for the final time. Promises, promises still holds that lead. Pictoni and Best West closing from second. On the inside, All American Candy third now. Daya Harlika takes away third on the outside. All American Candy fourth on the rail. On the outside, Freestone Lexi now fifth. RD racing six they go to the turn 132 time for the three quarters still out in front promises promises over pick tony and best west on the outside, Daya Harlika third and closing. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. Down the stretch for home. Promises, promises, Pictoni and Best West. Daya Harlika racing to the wire. On the outside now, at the wire, going to be promises, promises up for Blaze Freestone Lexi and for show, Daya Harlika into three and two. Bringing back a second winner on the program is Sam Hodge, and this time it's with the one horse, Promises, Promises. An eight-year-old brown pacing mare by Kiev Hanover from No Friends Ever, owned by Dale Orr of Oak Bay, trained by Ron Chamberlain, driven to victory by Sam Hodgen in 203 and 2. For Promises, Promises, fourth winning trip of the season. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off front running in out of the pack. Takes that lead as they go to the turn while Cherry's on the inside. Driving to racing three. That's a valid appeal. They're in the turn. Up on the outside now moving for real courtesy as they go round the turn to the back stretch for the first time. On the inside, Wild Cherry now takes that lead. Front running in, parked out there in second. On the inside, Valid Appeal third. Three wide racing fourth. And on the move, that's real courtesy there by the opening quarter. In 29 and 3, into the top turn. Rapid Kane moving five front running in, racing in six. A swing around the turn now going for the top of the stretch and on their way to the half. It's a wild cherry and up on the outside. Real courtesy driving second down the stretch. Wild cherry. Real courtesy on the outside, on the inside. Valid appeal third. Rapid cane racing for front running in. Talking boat, my boy. Pembroke payment and the trailer is bat boy. A minute, two time for the half. They're into the turn now. Still, Wild Cherry holds that lead. Racing second. Real courtesy by the five eights and down the back stretch. Valid appeal third on the rail. Rapid Kane racing in for Pembroke. Payment moves on the outside five. Then front running in. Talking about my boy and the trailer. That's still Bat Boy there by the three quarter mile station. And one thirty-two and two into the top turn for the final time. And while Cherry's out in front, still holds that lead at the length. Valid appeal racing into Bat Boy flying on the outside third and on the move. Rapid Kane comes off the rail down the stretch. They drive for home. Wild Cherry, valid appeal on the outside now flying through the lane. Rapid Kane and at the wire. It's going to be Rapid Kane, valid appeal. Wild Cherry. In 203 and 1.
Trading back at second winner on the program, Jill Berrio, this time the eight horse Rapid Kane, a seven year old Bay Pace and Gelling by Arcane Hanover from Magical Ball. Owned by Jennifer Murray and Michael O'Neill of St. John, trained by Charles Price, driven to his second consecutive victory by Jill Berrio. For Jill, it is his 99th win of the season at this track and 159th on the season overall. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off going for the lead. Lucky Rider up on the outside. Quality of money now. LMXKR drives on to be second on the far outside. Bluster Blue Chip is uh, third on the inside. Rackland fine line fourth. Quality of money on the outside. Five loose down six and the trailer. Kara's all American down the back stretch. Now they go for the opening quarter. Out in front. Lucky Rider by three parts of a length. Parked on the outside. Bus. Blue Chip. They're by the opening quarter race into the top turn. Lucky Rider is the leader. Buster Blue Chip driving to LMXKR racing in three. Rackland fine line moving for Kara's All American five round the turn. Then quality of money on the trailer as they race on down the stretch. That's a lose down. They're on their way to the half mile station. Lucky Rider holds that lead up on the outside. LMXKR driving. Driving second, Buster Blue Chip racing third. They go to the turn. Kara's All Americans on the outside. Four in, three out into the turn now for the five eights. Lucky Rider still holds onto that lead. It's a length and a quarter on the outside. LM XKR driving two on the inside. Buster Blue Chip racing three. Rackland fine lines on the inside four. Then Kara's All American five on the outside as they go on by the three quarters. Quality of money racing in six. The trailer Lose Town's gone to the outside. They're around the top turn now for the final time. Lucky Rider holds that lead. It's now a length and a half. LM XKR driving to here comes Rackland fine line on the outside three wide down the stretch lucky rider LMXKR Rackland fine line on the outside at the wire it's going to be lucky rider close for place and show between Rackland fine line and LMXKR there is no time no time for the race timing difficulty Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race eight, the three-horse Lucky Rider. Seven-year-old Bay Pace and Gelding by Life Sign from Sweet Strokes. Owned by Valerie Grant Fougier Bedell. Trained by Bob McNeil, driven by Stephen Trites. Three, Lucky Rider with Steve Trites on the bike is the unofficial race winner. Mark Haig, Jacob with Gerald Legier, always at Jara with Wayne Hubbard. Feel of eight behind the gate. The gate is moving at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off out of there. That's Ryan's fancy with the lead. Tigress clean driving to. There's action up on the outside. Jacob on the far outside challenging now third. Now second goes after the lead as they go by the opening eighth. Out in front, it's Ryan's fancy. Jacob up on the outside now, three wide. Race is second, bold. Ryan driving in third. Tigress Colleen racing four, moving five as they go to the opening quarter. Mr. Vavro, there by that marker and racing for the top turn.
29 and 4, time to the opening quarter. Still out in front, Ryan's Fancy is the leader. Jacob driving second on the outside. Bold, Ryan's on the rail, racing third. Island Eagle on the outside, a moving four. Hit along the rail, racing in five as they swing round the turn. That's a Tigris Colleen. Off the turn, down the stretch now, on their way to the half mile station on the inside, racing a six. As they move on by the half, Mr. Verbo, 101 and 1, PH Catman and always Jarwa, the trailer now, has gone out to be three wide. Into the turn now, still Ryan's fancy. Bold Ryan is second up on the far outside now, moving on to be third and racing. Three wide, that's the Island Eagle. Down the back stretch for the final time. Ryan's fancy, Island Eagle's up on the outside now. Bold Ryan still holds on to second by the three quarters Island Eagle on the outside third Tigris Colleen four one thirty three and four they enter the top turn for the final time Ryan's fancy bold Ryan off the inside up there to challenge Island Eagle is third on the inside Tigris Colleen racing for they bunch up now drive bound down the stretch for home still out in front Ryan's fancy on the outside bold Ryan moving up Tigris Colleen they're not going to catch Ryan's fancy over Tigris Colleen close for show looks like PH Catman 205 and 1. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race nine, the one horse Ryan's Fancy. A six year old free legged bay pace and gelding by Liz Ryan from Rose is Rose. Owned by Charles Bolin of Grand Bay Westfield. Trained by Randy Phillips and driven by Lonnie Stokes. Won Ryan's Fancy, 205 and 1, the unofficial winner for Ryan's Fancy. Win number eight on the season. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off out of the pack. Jig time. Salencer takes the early lead on the inside. Lucky Northern Star driving two up on the inside. Racing in three. Dusty Lane Oscar as they go to the turn. To the outside four and on the move. All American Theta. They go down the back stretch for the opening quarter. And the leader, Lucky Northern Star by a length and a half. Jig time silencer driving two, racing three. Dusty Lane Oscar on the outside, moving four. All American Theta there by the opening quarter. Racing in five, we'll see our dolly dance. 29 and three to the opening quarter. Into the top turn. Racing in six as they move round the turn. That's a Tisha's pit to pony. Followed by Best Intent and the trailer at the top of the lane. Consider me lucky down the stretch. Now they're on their way to the half. Out in front and the leader still uh, through the lane. That's Lucky Northern Star driving into Jig Time Silencer on the outside. All American Theta is third. Minute one fifth time to the half. Inquiry sign up. Hold your tickets. Inquiry sign has been posted. 
The leader as they go round the turn and by the five eights is Lucky Northern Star by two lengths. Jig Time Silencer driving two on the outside. All American Theater still racing in three up on the far outside. Will see our Dolly dance fourth now third. They're on by the three quarter mile station and Lucky Northern Star is the leader still by three lengths. In one thirty-two and one, well, see our dolly dances now second and closing on the outside. Jig time silencer racing third, best in ten, three wide to be fourth round the turn. Less than an eighth of a mile to go down the lane for home. Lucky Northern Star will see our dolly dance dances up on the outside. Will see our dolly dance coming to the wire, and it's going to be will see our dolly dance. Over Lucky Northern Star. Inquiry sign is up. Mile two, four and two. Ready now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race 10, the four horse, Will C.R. Dolly Dance. Six year old brown pacing mare by Ram Baron from Dance with the Duke. Owned by Scott Hubbard of St. John, trained by Scott Hubbard, driven by Ricky Collins to victory in 204 and 2. CR, Will C.R. Dolly Dance, fourth winning trip of the season, and Quarry sign stays up. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off on the inside. Elm Grove Bandit has the early lead. They go four wide to the turn. Port Hill friendly driving two up on the far outside. Fox Valley Merlin is third and on the move, challenging for the lead. They're three wide by the opening eighth and down the back stretch they go. Elm Grove banded by three parts of a length, three wide. And on the outside, Fox Valley Merlin now up in between horses. Racing for second is Shady Martin. 29 and 1 time with the opening quarter. Elm Grove Bandit Shady Martin driving to Port Hill Friendly Racing 3. Fox Valley Merlin moving 4. Then is Expos Dream in 5. JK Shadow 6. Incredible Thrill. And the trailer Katahdin Country off the stretch. Turn down they come now for the half. Out in front still, Elm Grove Bandit holds that lead and on the outside, Shady Martin by a neck is there for a second, they're by the half. 59 and 4 into the turn, Port Hill friendly 3, Expos Dream Racing in 4, moving a 5 as they swing around the turn, Fox Valley Merlin up on the outside, incredible thrill, J.K. Shadow and the trailer still, that's Katahdin Country, down the back stretch for the final time, Elm Grove bended out in front by a length and a quarter, Port Hill friendly driving 2 up on the outside, Shady Martin racing three. Fox Valley Maryland goes in the far outside as they swing round the turn. Expos Dream is third in the rail. 131 and four was a three quarters round the turn. Elm Grove Bandit Port Hill friendly on the outside. Here comes J.K. Shadow charging down the middle of the track. Port Hill friendly the leader. J.K. Shadow on the outside. Expos Dream looking for room at the wire and it's going to be Port Hill friendly J.K. Shadow. And the show horse looks very much like Expos Dream. Into all three and four. Quarry sign is up. Hold your tickets, please.
Bringing back a second winner on the program is Lonnie Stokes this time to two horse Port Hill Friendly. Three year old brown pacing Philly by drop off from Windhaven Maddie. Owned by John Charles Bellevue of Dieppe, trained by Ron Chamberlain, driven by Lonnie Stokes to victory in a mile of 203 and 4. Port Hill Friendly's sixth winning trip of the season and At the top of the stretch. <coughs> Here they come. They're off flying up on the outside. Henske A goes for, takes the lead before they go to the turn, driving second. Yankee Anthem's up on the outside. Roy Alcott now takes second. All the inside there by the opening eight. Henske A out in the front. That's the leader up on the outside. Yankee Anthem driving in two and along the rail. Roy Alcott racing three. Educated moving in four. Magnetic Banker driving five. He's a gunslinger six and the trailer. Emily J down. 28 and 3 to the opening quarter and Henske A's opened up five lengths round the top turn. Yankee Anthem driving two. Roy Alcott racing three. Then we have educated magnetic banker Emily J down and he's a gunslinger. Off the turn down the stretch now they're racing for a half mile station. Off stride Henske A through the lane. Henske A's gone to a break and the new leader Yankee Anthem by the half. Roy Alcott now racing Racing in second, they go to the turn. 59 seconds flat for the half. Into the turn now, out in front, it's Yankee Anthem, Roy Alcott, driving second as they go by the 5'8", educated third, Emily J down on the outside, challenging for fourth, on the inside, Magnetic Bank has it, they're on their way to the three quarters, off stride again, that's the trailer, Henske A, by the three quarter station. In one thirty and two, and Yankee Anthem up on the outside now. Moving is educated as they swing around the turn. Yankee Anthem educated on the outside. Roy Alcott on the inside third. Here comes Magnetic Banker to the far outside. Down the stretch, Yankee Anthem educated. Magnetic Banker on the outside. On the inside, Roy Alcott racing the wire. It's going to be Yankee Anthem over Roy Alcott. Looks like Magnetic Banker for show. Two minutes, three-fifths three the mile. Breaking back now, ladies and gentlemen, is Todd Trites with the unofficial race winner of number 12, the two-horse Yankee Anthem, seven-year-old brown pacing mare by Magical Mike from Anonymous, owned by Bernard Charlton of St. John, trained by Bernard Charlton and driven by Todd Trites to victory. Yankee Anthem's second straight win, and for Todd Trites, the leading dash winner in the Maritimes, that's number 188, including 81 at this track with Lonnie Stokes. Field of eight, behind the gate, the gate is moving. At the top of the stretch, Here they come. They're off OB Vikings out of there quickly and up on the outside. Jarwa right there to challenge as they go to the turn. Jarwa takes the lead. OB Viking is racing second. They go to the turn. Million dollar down on the inside. Third up on the outside. Racing fourth as they go to the back stretch is Awesome Bird. 
They're racing down the back stretch now, going for the opening quarter. Jarwa out in front by three and a half lengths. OB Viking driving to Awesome Bird three now million dollar down on the inside takes third away. 29 seconds for the opening quarter uh, as they swing round the turn. Out in the front still as they race round the turn. That's Jarwa over OB Viking. Million dollar down. Awesome bird off the turn. Woodmere flying Ryan on the inside. Legendary ones up on the outside. Through the lane. Pitbull Hanover and the trailer Hurricane Island racing now by the half. In 59 and 1. They go to the turn. Jarwa sets the pace. OB Viking still second by a length and a half. Million dollar down third. Woodmere flying Ryan racing four. They're on the back stretch for the final time. Legendary one moves from fifth as they swing on down the back stretch. Pitbull Hanover's on the move. Racing on the inside now is a Jarwa. They go on for the three quarter mile station. Out in 130. That's a Jarwa out in front. That's the leader up on the outside now. Million Dollar Downs moved on to be second. OB Viking a third round the turn. It's a Jarwa. OB Viking. Million Dollar down on the outside. Down the stretch they come for home. Jarwa. Million Dollar down and OB Viking racing to the wire. Jarwa at the wire going to be Jarwa. Million Dollar down. OB Viking for show. In two minutes and one fifth. Braden back his second consecutive winner on the program is Todd Trites. This time the five horse Jarwa. Eight-year-old Bay Pacing yelling by lightning speed from Savannah and Star. Owned by the ultimate stable of Dieppe and Don Hubbard of St. John. Tain, but, trained rather by Seafrol Malanson and driven by Todd Trites to victory. Two minutes, one-fifth. Fastest mile of the afternoon. And for Todd Trites, Maritime leading 189th victory. 82 at this track. <laughs>